I've been a long proponent of using window screen or Faraday cloth as a vertical antenna ground network ever since I made a video introducing the concept over two years ago. And since that time, I've used Faraday cloth or window screen for countless parks on the air activations and extolled the virtues of it as a ground network in numerous videos. Now laying down mesh screen isn't a new thing. AM broadcasters have been doing it for decades and in my research I found articles going back to the 1970s presenting the same ideas. But until recently the concept of using a metal screen for a ground has largely been forgotten. Now I love Faraday cloth as a ground. Mesh antenna grounds have the advantages of being compact, efficient, and easy to deploy. But screen on its own, either window screen or Faraday cloth, lacks one big thing, durability. Chameleon antennas ups the ante of the mesh ground plane concept with their new product, the CHA FSR or Faraday strip radial system. The Faraday strip radial consists of two long strips of durable material with Faraday cloth sandwiched between them. This is a rugged ground counterpoise system that improves on the convenience of Faraday cloth and the effectiveness of wire radials. Now when I say improves the convenience of Faraday cloth, the Chameleon FSR eliminates the fragility of the metallic material by sandwiching it between two layers of 900 denier Oxford cloth. What you get with the Chameleon FSR are two 20 foot by 4 inch pieces of Faraday radial material with grommets on the ends and middle, a 3 8 by 24 thread coupler to join the two pieces together. Also included are four tent pegs to hold it down, some washers for added electrical contact, and some bungees for storage. Deploying the cloth in an X fashion, you create four 10 foot radials. Use it with a 17 foot whip for resonant operation on 10 through 20 meters or add a loading coil for low band operation. The FSR is compatible with any vertical antenna system. You can use it with a ground spike or short tripod, pair it with the Chameleon M-Pass system, blank adapter, or MCC coil. Chameleon antennas did send me the FSR or Faraday strip radio kit for review, but my comments are my own without any outside influence. The setup of the Chameleon Faraday Strip Radio or FSR is really quick and easy, especially if you're going to be using the spike mount. All you'd really have to do is to take the, um, the little center uh, coupler and then uh, sandwich the washers between the, sh the, the radial strips using that center grommet. Screw the spike into the bottom and place it into the ground. Uh, spread the sheets out. It's fairly breezy today and I am not using the tent pegs. It's doing a very good job of sticking onto the ground, which is one of the things I really like um, uh, you know, about, about these, this, this type of radio. Um, if I was going to be using a Faraday cloth, it'd be blowing all over the place. Uh, wire radials, um, they're a little bit more uh, finicky to, to get spread out, but spreading out these thicker strips is really easy and like I said it's sticking to the ground on this breezy day. Uh, tuning, I checked it on the major bands 40, 20, 15, and 10. Uh, with the Chameleon 25 foot whip and the M25 coil I was able to get an SWR under 1.5 to 1 on the 40 meter band, uh, great SWR on 20 and 15 meters and under 1.5 to 1 on the 10 meter band. So. Um, uh, standing wave ratio SWR only tells half the story uh, when it comes to an antenna system. So we're going to put the, the Faraday strip radial on the air uh, first on the 15 meter band and then we'll move on down to 20 meters. Delta Oscar 
Oscar 5 India Echo. Delta Oscar 5 India Echo, beautiful signal, 5-5 five, five into Wisconsin, US 11927, back to you. Thank you very, very much. Uh, your signal is a little weaker here, about a 5-3, five, 5-3 by three, five by three, uh, into Southwest Germany. Uh, thank you for activating today. All right, well, hey, thanks for uh, Southwest uh, Germany, really appreciate it. Uh, you have a great day. 7-3, ciao, auf Wiedersehen. This is Kilo Bravo Niner, Victor Bravo Romeo, parks on the air, cures it. Hey, Germany on the first contact. <laughs> whiskey 6, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Uh, let's get grab that QRP station first. Kilo 4, Charlie, Mike, X-Ray. Kilo four, Charlie, Mike, X-ray. I heard you calling. You came up. To, you're coming up on now a five three, Wisconsin, US one one nine two seven. Back to you. Hey, thank you five three. I'll take it. Running five what? I have you five nine, North Carolina. Hey, thanks for the five nine. Yeah, we're running uh fifty watts with just the vertical. So uh, thanks for the contact today. Yeah, thanks for activating seven three. Seven three, take care. And then there was a station ending Foxtrot. Whiskey six, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Alpha 1, Foxtrot, India, Charlie. Uh, Whiskey 6, Whiskey Tango, Foxtrot, beautiful, 5-7 into Wisconsin, U.S. 11927, back to you. Copy that, thanks for the 5-7, you're also 5-7, California, that's 57, Charlie Alpha, thanks Michael. Hey, thanks for California today, you have a great day, 7-3. Kilo, Kilo 4, Charlie Alpha, India. Kilo, Kilo 4, Charlie, Alpha, India. You floated to the top. 5-9 plus, Wisconsin, U.S. 11927. Back to you. QSL, thank you, Michael. I've got you at a 5-9 into November, Charlie. Thanks for the activation. Enjoy your videos. Hey, thanks for North Carolina. You have a great, uh, great day, 7-3. This is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, Parks on the Air. QRZ. Kilo 8, India, Kilo Oscar. Kilo 8, India, Kilo Oscar, nice 5-9, Wisconsin, U.S. 11927, back to you. QSL, 5-9, uh, Ohio, thank you, 7-3. Hey, thanks for Ohio today. You have a great day, 7-3. Uh, Kilo, Bravo 9, Victor, Bravo Romeo, parks on the air, QRZ. November, 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 Lima Whiskey. Uh, November 8, November, Lima Whiskey, 5-9, Wisconsin, U.S. 11927, back to you. I thank you very much. I have you at a 5-7 here in the Cincinnati, Ohio area. I'm just operating out of the family room today. I got to steal the radio for my husband for a little while. All right. Well, hey, thanks a lot for um, Cincinnati. Always a pleasure to get, get you in the log. So you have a great day, 7-3. Thank you, 7-3. And then I heard a station ending X-ray. Whiskey Delta 5, Golf November X-ray. Whiskey Delta 5, Golf November X-ray 57, Wisconsin, US 11927. Back to you. Thank you for the new and 57. Hey, thanks for the 57. You have a great day, 7 3. Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, Parks on the Air. Here is it. After you're done with the activation, uh, you can roll the uh, FSR, the Faraday strip radials up and use these bungees to um, hold the bundles in place. But I found that you gotta, you gotta do a pretty tight roll in order to get these bungees to fit on around here. So you'd probably, you might wanna just go and get something a little bit, a little bit um, uh, longer than, than these. Those are pretty short bungees. But what I was thinking, is instead of rolling them up like that, would it work if we took our two strips and left them um, attached to the uh, to the spike like this? And then just instead of having this spike um, tightly screwed on into place, we just do something and I'll just loosen it up a bit so that the strips can swivel 
and you can fold them in like so. That's the nice thing about these nice wide strips is they are easy to work with. But you know, just fold them up. And store them in this manner. You know, you're not gonna be packing these out so you know in a in a backpack. They're a little bulky for that, but you know, in the back of a vehicle, in your go kit, uh, I think. I like this idea a lot. <laughs> and then when I'm ready to deploy this again, I can, you can just stretch it out in the X pattern and tighten down the um, the center, the, the adapter there, and you're you're ready you're ready to roll. That's that's what would work. That's what would work for me. So, uh, what are my thoughts on Chameleon's uh, FSR or Faraday strip radials? Well, first off. They're very easy to deploy. Uh, these wide, these wide strips, um, the easy to put out um, in that in that X configuration. Uh, you're not going to trip around over them or get tangled up in them like you do with uh, wire radials. It, um, they stick to the ground really well. I've I've had them out on a quite windy day, gusts 20 miles an hour or so, and I didn't even have to get out the the little um, tent stakes for them, the tent pegs. They just they just stuck to the ground uh, real nice, which and that's something I really liked about it. Uh, very good performance. Uh, SWR was great, 10 through 40 meters. Uh, I had these on the air on both 15 and the 20 meter band. Great performance. It, they worked just as I expected them to work. Uh, as compared to the, um, the to the, fer the to the big piece of, of Faraday cloth that I usually deploy, and they give a clean and professional look. <laughs> These look really nice on the ground. Um, not all helter skelter like um, uh, wire radials do. Um, they're 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 flat. They're professional. It it. You know, we call ourselves amateur radio operators, but you know, every bit of what we do can be um, as, 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 you know, putting, putting our best forward and um, having a professional uh, tidy appearance with our deployments. And that's what these, these, these strip radials really do. Uh, now there are some downsides to this. Uh, this color, uh, kind of the olive color, it blends in with the ground uh, quite well. Uh, it would be kind of it would be neat if they were available in a bright color, maybe like blaze orange or something like that. You know, maybe one side one side olive and the other side orange. That would be really cool. Then you could have the then you could have the high vis version and you could have the um, the camouflage version depending on what you know your your preferences or, or particular needs are. Uh, packability, like I said, uh, compared to wire radials, this is a bundle. <laughs> Um, if you're if you're backpacking, if you need ultra lightweight setup, you know wire is going to be the thing the thing for you. You know, don't even yeah, um, uh, don't even you know don't even think about it. You know, going with one of these. But you know, you're working out of your vehicle. You got go kits and bags and all that other all that other junk you carry along. You know, you can you can carry these along and have um, and have a great look to your um, to your outfit to your your deployments. Now I've used the Faraday cloth for scores of parks on the air activations. And these Faraday strip radios performed every bit as well and as expected to as the, Far the Faraday cloth does. It, um, my uh, expectations were, were most certainly met. SWR was good, 40 through 10 meters. Uh, reactance, which is the important thing, was almost down to zero on those bands. So highly efficient, um, very good, very good antenna system. Uh, great signal reports. Uh, I got 15 meet on 15 meters. I got Germany right out of the gate. <laughs> so um, they work, and I'm I, I'm really pleased with their performance. Um, I was on the air, we had this on the air for about an hour and uh, 83 contacts, uh, 16 of them on the 15 meter band, uh, the bulk of the rest of them were on the 20 meter band, hitting, you know, left uh, west coast of California, Washington, hitting Europe with it, uh, so um, 
great performance with the Faraday strip radio. So you can find these um, online at uh, chameleonantenna.com or otherwise your favorite uh, amateur radio retailer that sells chameleon products. Also, I'm sure they'll have those too. Uh, questions, comments about the chameleon Faraday strip radio system. I'd love to hear what your impressions are of this. Are you a fair, are you a, a uh, window screen, a Faraday cloth, a magic carpet user? What Do you think this is something that would, would fit into your, um, your, your, your kit and your style of operation? Let me know. Um, if this is not something that you would like at all, let me know too. Uh, I'd, I'd love to hear your opinions. So thank you for Chameleon for sending me this and um, giving me an opportunity to uh, put it to the test. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. You have a great day in 7.3.